All right, with the sine law, there's all, always a few applications. So I'm gonna do a, a, an application that covers a, it, it's a good one because it's very standard. Um, Jimmy is looking at a building and his angle of elevation is 30 degrees to the top. His friend Sandeep is standing 50 meters closer to the building and her angle of elevation is 46 degrees. How high is the building? So I have a diagram here, and uh, I guess this right here would be Jimmy. And the angle of elevation, if your eye is like this, so there's your eye, eyelashes, your angle of elevation is looking up like that. So here's his angle of elevation, and it's 30 degrees. Now Sandeep is standing 50 meters closer. So this distance here is 50 meters to Sandeep. And her angle of elevation is 46 meters, 46 degrees, sorry. And we need to find the height of the building. All right, I'm gonna start by finding some angles here. The angles on a line add up to 180. So those angles right there, that 46 and whatever this one is, add up to 180. So I'm gonna find it by going 180 minus 46, and I get 134 degrees. Okay, now the other part to this is that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So to find this angle, I can go 180 minus 134 minus 30, and I get 16 degrees. So this one up here is 16 degrees. All right, we now have enough information to find this side. And that's the side I think we need. If we can get that side, then we can use um, a standard trig ratio, primary trig ratio, probably sine to find the height. So let's use the sine law. We'll do the sine of 16 over 50 is equal to the sine of 30 divided by its opposite side, we'll call it x. You could call it whatever you wanted. So doing this, the sine of 16 divided by 50 is 0 I can times both sides by x, and then divide by the decimal. So this side x is gonna be the sine of 30 divided by 0 0.005512. So side x is equal to 90, rounds up to 90.7. This is good. So now we can find the side here. I'll use uh, red. We can... We can do this. We can do the sine of 46 is equal to the opposite that's my height, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the red side that we just find, found, 90.7. So then H, if we multiplied both sides by 90.7, we get 65.24. So there's a the length of the side, length height of the building, 65.24 meters. Um, these are standard. 
this is a very common type of question and look for things like playing with an angle, angles on a line and map out like I did on my diagram what you have to find first to get to where you want to go. All right. And uh, try, try and play around with it. You might make a mistake, but don't get discouraged. You'll be fine. It'll work out. All right.